Oh, what would you do if we cut you off here? Well, hang on, Stephen, I'm, I'm videoing now. Um, right, um, uh, basically I just live with it, you know, I don't expect any, you know, I'll be okay with that. Right, hello, it's the, what are we, the? 28th. 28th, 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 anyway, it's 28th of um, October, I thought I'd just do a quick whiz round of the garden. Um, um, just for work, working at four, doing the telephone stuff. Um, I'd show you the grass. I'd, I'd sowed it in um, October, which is a bit late for sowing grass, but luckily we've had warm, wet weather and it seems to at last have sprouted. It took about three weeks before it came up. Anyway, I'll show you that and just a quick whiz around the garden and I think that'll do for the moment. Okay, cheers. Right, so this is coming out into the garden. So. As I say, I um, I sowed this grass at the beginning of October, which is too late. You should really sow grass in September, but it is coming up a little bit of grass. So in the UK, it is possible to sow in October. September's better. So obviously, once it gets um, cold, it'll stop growing. But it's sort of got a greenish tinge. Um, so. It's all meant to be grass. I put on quite a lot of soil and then peat where we had really heavy rain and it sort of washed some of the seed out. But I think I think there is um, there is grass just about sticking its head out in different bits. So there is, but there is there is a sort of greenish tinge there. So it's around the side of the. Uh, so this is a new extension. That's Janine's bedroom up in there. It's just the one, just the bathroom window, and then Janine's window there, and that's the kitchen window. So yeah, so there is a bit of green there. Lots of. Um, I'll just go around and quick whiz around the garden. So a few leaves I've I've mowed. Probably my last mow of the year. Um, I've got a lot of plants to bring in for first frost, so I've got a banana and an orange tree and various sort of delicate plants so that will have to come in. That's the uh, uh, hyacinth, hyacinth, hydrangea, hydrangeas and pyrrhuses now. Um, yeah, I've got that camellia, this camellia which comes out early in the spring, There's plenty of buds on that. That's a lovely pink camellia. Uh, we've got those climbers in here. Got this rather odd bush here with these things on. A um, few little carrots in pots. Um, that's that's my orange orange bush there. So that'll come in for the winter for the, so it doesn't get frosted. Um, one thing I am quite, we've got this um, ketoniaster, which the birds really like. They tend to eat it, eat the berry, red berries and chop down. One thing I think is done really well, last got established, is the mulberry. So that bright coloured bush there is a mulberry. And um, I'm hoping I will actually get mulberries next year, I think. Reasonable chance. I'll just go and I'll have a look at the uh, peach, which as I say we had peach leaf curl. Uh, I think peaches are pretty thirsty. The, the leaves are better than the I mean, It is alive. There are, yeah, I mean, there are bits of peach leaf curl, but it's, it's, I, it's, I think I'll let rain help it a bit. Um, I'll spray peach leaf curl on for the winter. The other thing, the box, that got really badly eaten by caterpillars. I sprayed it, but I will again need to spray it again. I don't think it's it's box blight. I think it was the caterpillars, because um, the actual stems are okay. But yeah, a lot of. And then we had like really dry weather, so it's alive. I think it'll come back. Huge big um, bay tree. Lots of cutting. Um, it's going down the bottom. So yeah, lots of leaf mould. Down the bottom here. Um, our neighbour's meant to be doing an extension there, but nothing seems to be happening at the moment. 
So this is coming towards the sort of wild a bit, but <coughs> like hedgehogs and racing. We've got a little bit of rhubarb there. That's and goosegogs and things. I need to and buddleias. Um, put a lot of daffodils in. So they should come up in the spring. Um, this is uh, like a quarter of an acre of just wild stuff. There's, there's a hedgehog house in there. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at the hedgehog house. Mm -hmm. in, in there. Yeah, that's where the hedgehog house is. I don't know if you can see that. Oops, yes, in there. In there is a little hedgehog house. I don't know if there's a hedgehog living in there yet. Maybe a little mouse, I'm not sure anyway. Um, but this is just, just wild, wild garden. So daffodils are planted. Um, I'll try and manage a little bit. Over there there's hedges that need trimming back. Um, this is the bank. There's great big pipes in these banks. Um, right, so lots of wild bits walk back up the garden so I think that's about enough we've got some uh, red currants and uh, forsythia there it comes in in the spring the um, yeah the olive tree is okay a fair bit of wood um, lots to do next year in the spring or well, the pears it's a pear tree so a few pears there they're really nice um, oh, and Stephen's Pond. I've got Stephen's Pond. And that's about it, I think. I'll try and do a video next month, November. Oh gosh, poor old Stephen. He's lots and lots of uh, leaves on his pond, so we'll need to clear those at some stage. <laughs> sort of blanket of leaves, but there are fish in there. Um, need to clean out the pond. Yeah, so that's. That's the garden in um, 8 October. Janine upstairs in the bedroom. The care is coming three times a day. And just my father's back in hospital again. 102, which is a. Uh, I don't know, it's not good, but we'll see how we get on there. So, I think I'm sort of looking forward. Whoops, just I think I'm sort of looking, up, looking forward to um, the spring. To move the caravan round, and wherever the caravan is, he sort of squidges the grass a bit. But um, need to, I'm going to try and build out the patio a bit, so in the winter the caravan can live there a bit better. I think. Yeah. Did have a chat that's going to come round, but it, that doesn't seem to be happening. So anyway, where's one of the bonfires? That's Mark's van, and. Uh, yeah, this is the border where I put in those herbaceous perennials with my children. So there we are. So things are beginning to get a bit bigger. And then I'll put the leaf, some leaf mould there. And there's an awful lot of daffodils, which will be nice in the spring. That's the um, mulberry, which is really light coloured, yellowy leaves. It's very nice. So, yeah, that's the, that's the garden late October. And sort of looking forward to the spring. Cheers, everybody, anyway. Cheers. Bye then. Bye.